Hey guys, Brett Mess here. I am back with another review video, like a plush review. Uh, but anyway, happy Monday. And yes, it is May 1st. Review of the month. Uh, which, yes, some of y'all have been wondering who was the character, like the character's like face. Well... I actually found this character. It's actually so one of the Song of the Hedgehog characters. And that is... Metal Sonic. I didn't even know he was out already. Like, I mean, well, he's been out since, like, a year ago, okay? Since, like... October, September of last year. Which, they've been selling this guy for, like... Twenty dollars. I was like, "What? Twenty dollars for a new plushie?" I mean, yeah, I actually bought this from Walmart. Walmart, like two nights ago, and he was like nine dollars and ninety-seven cents. But uh, yeah, there's the tag. It's actually from the first look, the classic Sonic games. Which I never... Well, I actually played the one, the demo version on the PlayStation 3. And yes, it is Metal Sonic. So let's go ahead and take the tag off of him, shall we? Alright guys, so here he is without the tag on. Looks pretty cool. Um, I might get more Sonic characters. Like, the only ones I need to get is, is the Squirrel, the Armadillo, and Dr. Robotnik. But anyway guys... Hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. Hey guys, I am back with another review. Um, first review of May. Uh, so yeah, we got the Marvel Studios Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 Happy Mail Box. Got this today. So... It shows you how to play on the Mic on the Happy Mail app. You download from the App Store. There's a little smiley face. And it shows you how to play the game and it shows you who are in the set like Drax, Star Lord, Groot, uh Nebula, Cosmo, Rocket, Mantis. Adam Warlock. Thing is pretty cool that at um you know I think this is like the fourth figure that we're getting of Groot and same thing with Rocket and second with Mantis and Star Lord because if y'all know I'm going to probably buy buy the whole. Toys from eBay if I get around to it. A big if, maybe. Uh, which, uh, again, I am mean, pretty I'm excited for the movie. But anyway, guys, if you guys like, comment, subscribe. Hey, guys. I am back with another unboxing video. And happy Tuesday. So, yes, I know it's been a while since I did a John Cena basic action Action figure unboxing. I think I did it like around like June, uh, June, July, August of last year. I think it was like uh, July of last year. And this is from the Top Picks line. And this one, I, I did not mean to drop it. Hold on. And this one, I really want the most. Because, you know, I collect figures if they're in the color red. Now, this one reminds me of one character, and that is. DC Comics, The Flash. Because, you know, he's getting a movie coming out in a month. So, anyway, here's the figure, in, figure inside the package. There's a picture of John Cena. In this series, you can get Drew McIntyre and Big E. And we all know John Cena is a powerhouse. And speaking of John Cena, did you guys know he's in that new uh, golf the golf 2k game you know the golf video games where you play golf and all that 
So, yep, I'm going to cut through here while I do my, the unboxing because you can see the outline embossed a little bit. But let's go ahead and get it out of the package. Package, shall we? Yep, uh, not, okay, like, see, I try to cut it, cut it through all the way over here, but it's not how I wanted it planned, but let's get the pa figure out is the plastic case, not this one, like, the window, like, you know what I mean. Yep, uh... Okay, this is going to be complicated than I thought it would. So, let's go. Okay, guys, so here he is out of the plastic bag, or package, I mean. If my camera will focus. Come on, camera. There we go. Yeah, it looks like a new face... Skin. It looks like the one from Basic Series 100, not 100 something, like 100, like Basic Series 40 John Cena has skin from the WrestleMania Heritage series, from that series. And the color, if you could tell, looks like it's a repainted version of the Basic Series 130 John Cena. So yeah, uh, wait. Did they forgot? Are you serious? They didn't even literally put the logo on the back. You are literally kidding me. But I'm not complaining. So yeah, this is the logo. So I know y'all are not going to agree with me about this, but this looks exactly like the Flash's colors. You know, Barry Allen, the Flash. Because you can tell, it's red, white, yellow. I forgot my friend Selena mentioned to me about that movie when the new trailer came out last week. But, uh, yeah, guys. Um, that's it for this unboxing. Hope you guys have a great Tuesday. And I hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. So, yeah, guys, uh, if y'all know from my unwrapping video when I was doing that, uh, review on the Toy 1 and 2 from the Guardians of the Galaxy Happy Meal Toys from this morning that I filmed at 1 in the morning. So, yes, uh, right now it's, like, almost about to be 4 and I overslept and I forgot to do the unboxing right now, but, well, I am doing it right now. I, I did do it, like, when I was awake, you know? So, yep, uh, this is from Amazon. I actually paid, like, it was, like, $8.78, and, and the taxes were, like, $0.00. Cents. I was like, what? That's crazy. But, yep, it got delivered today. Can't wait to show you guys what it is. And it's actually a pop final related, because I didn't do a pop final unboxing since... After Christmas of la after Christmas of last year, but anyway, guys, let's go ahead and get this out of the package, package, and show you what it is. All right, guys, so it's the Pop WWE Funko Pop number ninety five Montez Ford. Uh, some people never actually review this on their channels or just their uh. Videos, I mean, you know. But anyway, here's the front, the side, the back. And in this series, you can get Rey Mysterio, Angelo Dawkins, Montez Ford, Asuka, and Jerry the King Lawler. And, um, yeah, the, this one was actually released about almost two years ago. But anyway, guys, let's go ahead and get it out of the box shall we all right guys so uh, i forgot to mention before i got him out of the box uh yes i did i did watch the draft last week you know the night one draft these two are back on smackdown and yes uh so did oscar oscar got drafted this past week to smackdown 
Rey Mysterio is also on SmackDown. Well, stay on SmackDown, actually. But, uh, yes, there's also a Chase variant of this Rey Mysterio, the one that I'm pointing at right now. That glows in the dark, and it's Amazon exclusive. So, here's Montez Ford. Uh... So, yes, pretty cool. What's really cool about this figure, he's actually holding his cup. And they actually put some tattoos, some tattoos on him. Surprisingly pretty cool they did. And he has, like, one head articulation. And they made his made his jacket pretty shiny, which I am actually surprised about that. They actually made it shiny. And also, uh, also, um, if you guys like this video, uh, comment down which wrestler do you want to see me to review as a pop final. Let me know down in the comments below. Hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. And they want the smoke. Also, before I do this unwrapping video, you guys, like, take them out of the bag. I also forgot to tell you from the video I, I made them um, that I actually am glad I got these sets. Toy 1, all the way through Toy 8. Which, the ones we're reviewing right now is Toy 1, Toy 2, that is Star-Lord and Nebula. And, uh, but, but anyways, so yeah, stay tuned for another unboxing, not an unwrapping, like, you know, an unboxing video I am getting from Amazon today. And just so you guys know, I am filming, recording this at more in the morning right now. But anyway, uh, so, here's the little figurine in the bags, which, Star Lord looks pretty okay, but, I don't know about the face. And we got Nebula, which, again, I don't know why they did not add Gamora, Gamora in the set. I feel like they're, she's not important that much to the MCU for the Marvel movies. But let's go ahead and get these out of the bag and see what they look like outside the bag. Alright, guys, so we're going to check out Star-Lord first. So, yeah, um, I feel like this looks... I mean, yes, he is. I mean, Star Lord is played by Chris Pratt, but to me, I feel like this looks nothing like Chris Pratt. But yes, um, anyway, guys, so these toys do have two gimmicks. You push this button back here on the lower back of Star Lord, and it looks like he's dancing, or just looks like he's like. Just dabbing in a weird way. And here is the other gimmick. Well, you can rock it back and forth. So, anywho, here is number two. And that is Nebula. Oh, wow. I have never seen Nebula smile in the movies. But this is her gimmick, which to me looks very, very confusing. If you guys know this dance, and this dance, because I don't know that much of dancing that much as, like, well as anyone else do. Like, you can ask me what type of this dance is, or I can ask you guys in the comments, you can let me know. Which, this is just the weirdest gimmick ever that Nebula is doing. She's doing, like, that weird character... Dance from Street Fighter. I I'm not for sure. And also, here's this other gimmick, too. So, you see this little, uh, peg here on Gamora's... I mean, not Gamora. <laughs> Nebula's figure here. You can, like, lean it like this. If it lets me, because... Again, I am filming in the back of the car. 
you can tell, see, I'm not up front, so, anywho, uh, anyway guys, if you guys like this unwrapping video, let me know down in the comments below, I hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. So, okay guys, I forgot to tell you, uh, for my yesterday's unboxing on the Montez Ford Pop Final that, uh, I have a dentist appointment today, so I'm going to, like, film the, the unwrapping of the Toy 3 and 4, so, uh, yeah, but, uh, anyway, let's go ahead and do it. Also, to pre I forgot to mention, uh, it's like almost about to be six, six in the morning right now, so, yeah. Also, I'm gonna let you guys know, I have been f filming back here since, like, maybe nearly towards the end of March, but, uh, anyway, let's go ahead and do the, um, wrapping, shall we? Okay, guys, so, yeah, um. There we go. So I had to sh like close my trunk door, the back of the car, because y'all know I've been filming back here. Like I said, from like the last thing that I paused on, I want to say like twenty seconds, thirty, twenty seconds ago. But yes, we are doing a wrapping of Toy Three and Four. Of Marvel's Marvel Studios Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. So, yep, the movie will be coming out in theaters. Well, for opening night, like tonight, but the movie will be fully, fully released everywhere in every state, I think, tomorrow. But yes, we got Adam Warlock and Mantis. So let's go ahead and get them out of the bag, shall we? Alright guys, so here is Adam Warlock and Mantis out of their bags. Uh, so yes, let's take a look at this one, and this one is Adam Warlock. Now, if y'all saw the trailer, uh, he's played by Will Por Porter, P Potter, like, you know, his last name's like... Potter, like Harry Potter, or how you pronounce his last name. Uh, if y'all are not familiar with him, he was known for his films like uh, Where the Millers and uh, The Mace Runner. So, yeah, uh, you see this little like lever back here? So, I'm gonna move my finger like right about here, and this is the gimmick. It looks like he's just playing a guitar. I, I'm not for sure. Now, I don't know if he's going to be a bad guy or a good guy in the movie. So, but still, I'm going to probably wait till to see it when it comes out really soon on Disney Plus. Really soon. And here is Mantis. Um, to me, I don't know why they painted her hair black because I thought it was going to be green like they did with her first figure from uh, the Thor Love and Thunder Happy Meal set toys from last year's Happy Meal toys and they just didn't stick her antennas out because you know she's a praying mantis wherever she is again it's been a while since I saw the last two movies but, yeah, um, pretty cool to unwrap these already, but I was going to film this video that y'all are watching right now, tomorrow, but I was like, yeah, you know what, I'm going to wait till like, some point by today to do it, because I don't feel like doing it by tomorrow, because I have an appointment today, and all that, but anyway, guys, hope you guys like Comment, subscribe. Okay, guys. So, I'm back with another unwrapping video. Um, Yes, my trunk door is open. Because I have it 
open for a reason, because, uh, from my uh, rapid video I did yesterday morning, from 6 in the morning, 6 in the morning, actually, like I was saying, so, yeah, I had a little trouble getting out, so I had to get out from this seat here, and then, yeah, so we got number five, Cosmo, and number six, which I need this in my wrestling collection, which I know y'all gonna ask, say, ask, I mean, what does, uh, Guardians of the Galaxy have to do with wrestling? Well, Dave Bautista is gonna be in it, it's actually gonna be his, it's actually his final time playing drags. So, anyway, guys, let's go ahead and get these out of the bag and see what they look like, shall we? Okay, so, I think these two are going to be my favorite out of the set so far. Because, if y'all know, I am a dog person. I have a pet dog. His name is Parker. Which, y'all probably saw a feel of that of him, like, at, before we adopted him. So, yeah. Um, anyway, so, let's go ahead and take a look at Cosmo. Um, I don't know if he, I don't know if it's like a male or, because it looks like a female dog, because, um, if you know, female dogs have like more fluffy, like has like the poodle type on them. Ah, it's raining. But, uh, here's Cosmo, um. This is the gimmick. You wag its tail. And also the other gimmick too. Walk rocks back and forth. And here is Drax the Destroyer. AKA Dave Butista. Um my biggest problem is about the soy. They didn't even add his eyebrows to it. Because I forgot, Drax does not have eyebrows at all. So, this is the gimmick. Uh, looks like he's pretending to punch you, or whatever, or... Probably he's just dancing. And this is the other gimmick. Just like the other ones. And, of course, he falls down. There we go. But, anyway, guys, hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. Hey guys, I am back with another video, and, um, yeah, I just woke up, like, I want to say about, like, 10 minutes ago, so yes, uh, this is from Ringside Collectibles, I told you guys about, I ordered this, like, two weeks ago, I didn't expect it to be here today, because, like I said, from the... Video I uploaded this morning. Thought I want to be here till like the end of May, cause it said arriving until late May, so they just gave it to me early. So let's go ahead and see what it is. So yes, check this out. So it is the Ringside exclusive. Retro pack NWO Scott Hall and Kevin Nash. So, yep, uh, there's the front, here's the back. Uh, yes, there is Hollywood Hulk Hogan and Six, aka X Pac or X Pac. So, you can see these little things right here. Yep, I think it's going to be right easier for me to get them out. Except for, like, cutting them out of the package. So, here we go. Okay, guys, so here they are out of the package. So, you only can get two of them. And, yes, I forgot to tell you, they have, like, a, this little McDonald's toy Happy Meal gimmick. So, for example, like, you can see, like, Racer Ramon. on. Uh,
And that was another car driving past. So, like that. See? Pretty cool, right? And he only has two arg articulations at uh, the race and in the head. And here is Kevin Nash. Which, yes, uh, this is actually my first Kevin Nash figure. Because the basics are pretty expensive. And what's really cool, they added his tattoo. Which... I don't know if that's a dragon or not, but I'm going to go with a dragon. And this is his gimmick. So yeah, so some of y'all are probably wondering when did I actually pre-order these. Um, I actually pre-ordered them like back on the 28th of last month. About like two weeks ago but yeah guys uh i hope you guys like comment subscribe Alrighty, guys so i am back with another unwrapping video so we got the final two that is rocket and groot now i forgot to unwrap these last week because i was busy with uh with like you know, um, stuff on Instagram and all that, but yes, we got Rocket Raccoon and Groot. I think this is Groot's fourth figure, and same thing with Rocket Raccoon, but yes, guys, let's go ahead and get these open up and see what they do. And three, two, one. Okay, guys. So I also forgot to mention what's yes. If y'all know that little cat peach uh action figure I unboxed and reviewed from the Super Mario Jack's Pacific action figure line. I forgot to put that in the first May compilation unboxing. And well, May and May unboxing and unwrapping compilation, the first part. But don't worry, I'm going to put in the best of May. Hold on. Like I was saying, I'm going to put in the best of May's unboxings and unwrappings compilation. And probably put it out there by June 1st. So yes, here is Rocket. Um... That was like a bobblehead gimmick. And same thing with Groot. Because Groot has articulation. And he also has the little wobble gimmick also. But anyway guys, I'm sorry this uh, unwrapping video has to be short. Because I just trying to get the full uh, set unwrapping. A uh, compilation of the Guardians of the Galaxy Happy Mail Toys for Volume 3 out there really soon. But anyway, guys, hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. How's it going, guys? I am back with another unboxing video. And we just got The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. I'm doing this for my brother because my brother wants to play this game. I want to play this game, but sadly, I'm not going to play it right now because I am going to be probably busy. After I get done making this video and the other video. So yes, here's the front. And yes, I will make a feel about this saying that the game is going to be $70. Yes, y'all heard me correctly. $70. So here's the front. You see Link. The spine. Which is just the same color as, as the um, other games. Oh, come So, here's the back. Explore, create, discover. And yes, uh, the game's rated everyone 10 plus. Fantasy, finalist, mild, suggestive themes. And, oh man, I'm so excited 
I need to play this really soon. So, let's go ahead and unwrap it, shall we? Okay, guys, so I got the shrink plastic wrap off. So, that's what you get. Just the game. Sadly, no DLC. Unless when the, the game, before the game came out, you can actually pre-order the DLC if you pre-order the game. And check out the background. Pretty cool, right? But anyway, guys, hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. See you in the next video. Alright, guys, so I am back with another Deadpool plushie repeat video for you guys. Um, some of y'all may know I did do a Deadpool plushie review about like three months ago. But yes, finally grabbed my last one. And that is, yes, it's the unicorn one. This is the one I really wanted so badly. Uh, some of y'all have been wondering, where did I pick this up at? I picked it up from Target. Pretty cool, pretty cute, pretty funny. But yes, I'm going to have to take the tags off and see what it looks like without the tags on. And I picked, it was like $16.99. I was like, it was $16.99. Why is David Hasselhoff? Yes, David Hasselhoff has his own plushie too. Eggman from uh, Sonic the Hedgehog. We're $11.99. And this was just like, Sixteen ninety four ninety nine ninety eight. I mean, yeah, I get Deadpool's game popular because he's joining the MCU, like how Spider-Man did. But let's go ahead and take the tags off and see what he looks like without the tags on. He's a magical pony. Yes, I had to do the reference. But anyway, guys, hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. So, uh, anyway, so. Yes, we got a brand new character who I just bought. And it's a Pokemon. Haven't done a Pokemon character since probably like an outfit for Pikachu about a year ago. So, here is the new character, and that is Drum Roll. Yes, I actually picked uh, it up from Walmart, and I don't know what happened. Like, hold on, let me try the link. Let me go. Yeah, the poor thing was just like a little worn out. So, yes, I know you're going to ask, why does it have a little bow on it? Uh, if you can tell, this is actually the Holiday Edition uh, that came out right before Christmas of last year. So, yeah, let's go ahead and take the tax off of it, or him, she. Because my friend Selena told me it has, like, a male and a female. So, yeah, let's go ahead and take the tags off, shall we? Alright, guys. So, here's the tag. Yep, like I said, it's the holiday edition, like Christmas edition. Because uh, you can tell the little snowflakes on it. So, yeah, let's check out the plush itself. So, yep, uh, this is actually for Selena because I think she's going to watch this video when she wakes up. But yes, I got it. I was originally supposed to get this character next month, but, uh... So I was like, yeah, you know what? I'm gonna probably wait till now to get it, so I don't wait till next month. But anyway, guys, hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. So, yep, I am wearing my Jagged Ball, Dragon Ball Super Jacket, because I didn't know it was gonna rain, so... Yep, so I got this thing, which I thought I wouldn't be getting it since two weeks ago, but sadly, it was delayed to be here by this week. And I got this from U2s. That's spelled U, like you, me and you, twos. Like T 
O-O-C for Zebra. Now, if you're not familiar with who they are, uh, they do, like, some Five Nights at Freddy's merch. Uh, they're f coming out with the upcoming figures for My Hero Academia. They have the boys with Homelander, Billy Butcher, and all that. But, yes, I have been waiting on this, and I'm still trying to get the fourth or fifth unboxing compilation out there by the end of May, but and trying to put the whole like unboxing and unwrapping of May compilation by the first of June. So yeah, let's go ahead and see what it is, shall we? See check it out. See the little logo right here? U twos collectibles. Um and this is uh from Attack on Titan Mikasa, Mikas, Mikasa, Mikasa, Mikasa. Uh, to be honest, I never got. I mean, I tried to get into Attack on Titan, but um, I just never got into it. Seven for my sister. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, it's a little keychain to it, so... Let me take the keychain off. I'll be right back in the next scene. Here's the tag. And... Got a little message, a message from this collection saying, Thanks for collecting me. Ah, that little tag from that Pokemon thing I had was in here yesterday. Here's the little chain that it comes with, which I don't know if I could keep it on the chain or not, but that's... Yeah, I'm just gonna leave it off the chain. So, here she is. Uh, they also have, like, other merch, too, like Souls of Media stars, like, uh, well, you know, celebrities. So, here she is out of the bag, and wow. Okay, I'm gonna admit, I like this one better than the Great Eastern one, because the Great Eastern one has painted eyes, a little paint on the jackets, but yeah, I actually like this one. But anyway, guys, I hope you guys like, comment, subscribe, and uh, uh, my friend actually thought I was going to get it, like, the week that I ordered this a month ago, but I actually just, like, bought it, like, a month ago, like I said, but it got here today, but, uh, yeah, guys. Uh, glad this is actually my first time doing a video on the YouTube's collectibles. But anyway, guys, hope you guys like, comment, subscribe.